So, first and foremost, we gotta get this song off of here. We gotta get Sebastian's theme song. Oh my god, we have so many songs on here. We've listened to pretty much every song there is in the game. And they're not even in alphabetical order! Oh, there we go. Here it is. You know what? This is pretty nice. Very fitting for our adorable brooding emo boy. I remember way back, very early on in the series, Kat did present the possibility of once we get through all the individual spouses, then romancing them all at once for a very special cutscene. If you get to 10 hearts with all of the potential spouses, which means we would have to re-romance everyone all over again. And dear God, I'm so glad we decided not to do that because holy shit, can you imagine all of the work that I would have to do yet again? This series would be like another year long. He's still in bed? Bestie, it's past 10. Okay, there we go. He gets up at 10.30. I can't really complain. I stay in, up until like two in the morning and get up sometimes around this time. So, you know, uh, I'm not one to judge. Hey, Leah, have an all right week. I hope you're taking breaks to recharge. I couldn't get up early like you every day. That would absolutely wreck me. Mood. Oh, Sebastian, where are you going? Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just not at all creepily following behind you. Just, just just to see where you're going. You know, like I said before, if Twilight has taught me anything, it's not stalking if you're doing it for love. Then it's romantic, right? Here, I'll stick behind the bush for full effect. Oh, you just went to go stand by this bush. I don't, oh, okay, nope, never mind. I need a nap, I don't even know why I'm awake right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you walked all the way to this bush just to stand next to it. I had a late night last night. Wait, now where is he going? Oh, is he? Oh, he's going to see Sam. Well, this is awkward. I romanced Sam so long ago. He was my first husband. Ah, the memories. Hey, Sam, how you doing? I don't think I can still be your friend. Well, that's darn shame, cause I'm gonna marry your best friend and take him. Good, oh. I am musical artiste. There we go. I'll take my Grammy now, thank you very much. You can just send it in the mail. Oh my God, this whole farm is kind of a disaster area. You know what, it's fine, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters right now is love. Speaking of, hey, Mr. Marriage Dealer, I gotta see you for one last fix. And then I'm, I'm Going cold turkey. Thank you, I'll take that. This is the last mermaid's pendant I'll ever need. And then I'm getting clean. I'm going to rehab and then it, it'll be fine. I bet your farm's really coming together with all the effort you've been putting in, that's cool. That's so nice of you to say because it's a complete disaster zone right now. But I, I appreciate the thought. I can't imagine ever living on a farm seems like so much effort. What do you get out of it? Wow, okay. Bit of a negative Nancy there, but all right. Boy, well, are you in for a treat? Yeah. Gonna be real surprised to learn that my farm is actually, has minimal effort put into it and is quite a mess right now, so. Oh, hi, Sam. Good to see you again. Hey, Sam, are you going to say hello to me? We were just about to play Solarian Chronicles the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. We're doing a freaking tabletop game. I'm not gonna lie. Things like Dungeons and Dragons, it's always been fascinating to me, but I feel like I'm way too dumb to actually like play. I feel like so much of it is gonna go over my head. So I've never actually made an effort to get into it, but I really love the idea. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Hmm, it looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Salarian staff from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. 
Cool. Are you ready to choose your character? You bet I am, ex-husband. I am going to choose Healer because I, kind, gracious little ray of sunshine that I am, prefer to help others by romancing them and then ripping their hearts out of their chest and stomping it into the ground. Oh, sorry, did I say help others? I meant help me. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Cool, warrior is my favorite anyway. Let's begin. Hell yeah. Ooh. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Salarian staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends, as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Salarian Staff for his vile purposes. In the tower lies before you? Do we go in the front? Because fortune favors the bold? Or search for a back entrance to remain hidden. I think we search for a back entrance. I hope I do this correctly. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hot minute, so I don't know if these events are, you know, if I'm doing things correctly in order to ensure a good outcome, but we'll see. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trap door hidden in the brush. Beneath is a ladder which your party descends. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. I want to see what the glowy bullshit is all about. Give me something shiny or sparkly, I'm on board. You're in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? <gasps> what do you do? Destroy the capsules, of course. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. Oh my. Ooh, there he is. For maximum evilness. <clears throat> Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Salarian staff. <laughs> Fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth casts Shadow Beam. It's super effective. Sorry, wrong game. You were able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured. What do you do? We can heal the warrior, who is Sam, or heal the wizard, who is Sebastian. Gee, I wonder. Sam can get fucked. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> get shit on. Sebastian casts pure bolt. A beam of white light hits Zarth square in the face. The dreadlord shrieks and crumbles into dust. Ooh. You pick up the Salarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. Yeah! Wait, huh? Finish the scenario with a B rating? What do you mean? We literally accomplished our goal. And we mercy killed the, the thingies. Wow, I demand a recount. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Well then. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Ooh, look at him smoking. He's such a cool bad boy. That bartender chick, Emily, she's a strange one. Total hippie, you know what I mean? Why? Wh why? Why? D please tell me, tell me you're not interested in Emily. Please, no, Sebastian, don't. 
But whatever, she doesn't get in my mix or anything. I don't mind people if they just leave me alone. Okay, cool, thanks. Good talk. I guess I'll just leave you alone then. Uh, listen, I expected him to be like kind of, you know, ugh, about Abigail. Cause like canonically they kind of pair up together. But Emily? I wasn't expecting that. Um, that kind of threw me off. Hey, Sebastian, fancy seeing you here in your own house. What's up? You good? Yeah, I'm okay. You know how it goes. Same stuff, different day. Valid. Leo? Leo? What are you doing, sweet angel child? Are you okay? I felt like a stranger here at first, but I've made a lot of friends. For once, I feel like I belong. So so why, why are you here in the corner? Hun, are you okay? I'm a little bit concerned, I'm not gonna lie. Linus? Um, I'm feeling exhausted today and the heat isn't helping. Oh, I feel that. Summer is my least favorite season. How are you always so energized? <laughs> Copious amounts of caffeine. Literally, I have 170 mugs of coffee in my inventory. Are you just eating things from around the farm? I'm I, hungry. <laughs> I hear you crunching. You're hungry. just eating stuff you find around the farm? Sebastian, why are you here hanging out with Abigail? Come on now. Sebastian's your daddy. You know what? Surprisingly, I'm actually not all that interested in calling my romantic partner's daddy. I do what do you mean surprisingly? Because I do it a lot as a bit. Like, literally, I refer to Sebastian as goth daddy. That's not a thing that, like, I'm actually interested in doing. Ask Ben. I have never called him daddy once. Yeah, I'll just ask Ben, hey, uh, you got a daddy kink or what? <laughs> You're still eating stuff? What are you eating? What are you finding here that is edible still? I've got a feeling my mom likes Maru better than me. After Maru was born, they stuck me in the basement. See, see, I said. That's non-canon, that's a mod. No, I think in my mom's mind, Maru's the ideal kid and I'm just kind of a black sheep. Either way, even if it is a mod, like it fits with his personality. He has issues with Maru. Have you ever really spent time talking to Pierre? I mean, like letting him yap on for a bit? The guy's actually a bit of a jerk and my opinion isn't just colored by what Abby tells me. Really? Oh, do say more. I'll take any excuse to hate Pierre. Pierre has got a mean streak in him. Okay, I mean, Pierre sucks. We knew that. This isn't anything new. Now you're raiding my refrigerator? Thirsty. Oh, I like his fall outfit. That's a vibe. I'm having one of those days. My head is all scrambled. It feels like the world is closing in on me. Oh, you ever Mood. get like that? <laughs> Literally. It feels like everyone's out to get me. You know what I'm saying? Cat, go sleep. You're, you're still eating things from my refrigerator? You had a lot of things. Have to get through all this flour. You do not have to. You could just... I don't know, Who else is gonna not eat, eat raw flour. You could leave it in the refrigerator. Nah. Oh I've God. got things to do. And by that I mean you. I read a quote once, something like, it's no measure of health to be well adjusted to a sick society. How true. People running around with the biggest smiles are usually the most messed up. Uh, oh no, okay. No, he's right. I, I mean, yeah, but like, damn, that's dark. <laughs> you know, of all the things I've come home to, you just standing in my bedroom shoveling pounds and pounds of sugar down your throat. <laughs> it's not the most surprising. Wait, you don't like it when I throat sugar in your bedroom? <laughs> Weirder things have happened in here. Oh, Look at all the people I've married. I've been thinking some about your farm. Do you feel isolated out there? It's a little ways out of town. I would think the privacy feels pretty good. You probably don't have many visitors. No, but people are sending me shit in the mail literally all the time, whether I want them to or not. You're eating rice in my bed. <laughs> Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. I'll eat the ants. I recently picked up this book about a farmer. I'm digging it. Ha 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 ha. 
It makes me think of you. Is that weird? I didn't mean to creep you out or anything. <gasps> you do is so great, bestie. Love you. Mwah. The Stardew Valley says, ones do pop off. <sighs> they do tend to pop off. It's very well known for your Stardew Valley content. It's sad that today's our last day. Well, just of this playthrough. I still find it funny how, like, all my other shorts, like, it's all clips from my channel and stuff, don't really do things like, you know, rating or ranking characters in the game and all that. And so I just kind of did it for funsies. And then half a million views later, here we are. That's insane, by yeah. the way. It it's is. It's actually nuts. <laughs> my most popular video is like, hey, I feel like being a little cute and quirky today and doing something a bit different. You're always quirky and not like other girls. <laughs> I'm going to move past how you left out the cute part, but OK, that's fine. <laughs> Ego <laughs> slightly bruised, but we go on. Are those new boots? I like them. I should get myself a pair of those. No, we can't call ourselves boot buddies. That's too much. <gasps> Wait, please. Please. When I was a lad, I ate two dozen eggs every, every morning, morning to help to me, help get, me large. get large. Now that I'm grown, I, I eat three five. dozen eggs. Eggs. Five dozen eggs, and I'm roughly the size of a bug. Actually, hold on, let me, let me do some calculations real fast about how many dozen eggs I'm about to eat. Again, 34 dozen me. eggs. Oh my god. There's a hazelnut up here if you want to come get it. I have enough eggs, yeah. Allie. I have the Let's, eggs that I need. Okay, I thought maybe you would want some variety in your diet, all right? No, Excuse I need me. to eat all of one thing at a time. You can't take any breaks from the eggs until you're done? <laughs> I cannot. It is a non-stop egg train down this gullet. You know what I hate? When you're venting and someone tells you to calm down, that doesn't make me feel calm at all. Thank you! Oh my god, that is the worst thing in the world! Don't tell Allie. me to calm- I swear to fuck, if you tell me to calm down right now, I'm gonna scream. That is the worst thing in the world. Calm down. Ah! You know another one? Relax. When someone tells you to relax, it has the opposite effect. Just let me vent, you know? Snaps for Sebastian. I just w witnessed your child teleport. <laughs> wow, and... my kids are talented. Oh wait, I don't think I've seen Leah's post-divorce dialogue yet. I've realized I'm happier by myself, so just leave me be. Damn, that's nice. Yeah. It's based. Sh I mean, she already had one shitty ex, now she's got a second one. I don't think I'm gonna need anything else. I mean, I'm pretty sure the 40-something frozen tears will be enough to tide me over. What are you doing? I don't like the way I walk in and you're moving the chest and then you suddenly sprint across the room like you trying to act all nonchalant. Fuck you. Hi, Sebastian. Leah? Question mark? Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. Got the emotional, sentimental music. I hope they come this way. I mean, it's literally already storming, but, you know. I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. Yeah, we don't even have the sounds of the rain. But, you know, I feel that. I don't like being around people either. I don't feel that way around you, though. Oh, That's so cute! I'm gonna sh- <laughs> We're getting soaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm indeed getting soaked. Um, uh, there's room for two! Ooh. Scooch. Scoot. Oh, the look at this. Ugliest umbrella I've ever seen. What? That's the ugliest umbrella I've ever seen. Don't insult my almost husband's umbrella. What the I'll hell? I'll insult whatever I want about your almost husband. Pardon me. Hey, Maru! Remember when I gave you a bouquet? And then married you and then divorced you? Yeah, I'm gonna go fuck your brother, who's far superior to you. Just because you're smart doesn't mean you have a personality. Anyway, here you go. You wanna get more serious? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Wow, you're ruining my moment, cat! It's harvest season. Does that mean I won't get to see you as often? Ah, <gasps> oh, don't be a stranger. I might start missing you if you get lost in your work. Oh, don't worry, baby. I'm not planting a damn thing and haven't for many months now. <laughs> that field is so desiccated. How many eggs are you down to now? 
Um, I'm eating sap. What happened to the eggs? I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Cat. I don't want to talk about it. What happened to the eggs? We don't talk about eggs. I want to talk about the no, eggs. No, no, no. You're eating sap. That's literally bad for you. What, and you think that what I was doing was good for me, Allie? I mean, it wasn't great, but, you know. You sold all of the eggs? You gave up. You're Listen, a quitter. You eat, you eat like, 120 eggs, and you start to get really sick. Like, you really just want to eat sap, you You're know? a fucking quitter. <laughs> we really should hang out more. You want me to cruise by your place later tonight, and we can hang out on the porch? <gasps> it would probably be a perfect night for it. That sounds ideal, honestly. That, that that sounds like a really fun time, just like hanging out on a farm at night outside. In the autumn. Love that shit. I've done that before. Hell, it's great. Get a fire going. Sebastian's gonna come by my place later. Ooh. All right, I'll uh, make myself scarce. I'll just hang out in one of the casks. No way, don't do that. Then you'll age. I cannot age, Kelly. Oh yeah, you like my hair today? That's cool. I just kind of woke up like this. Yeah, okay, I did put a little pomade in it too. You caught me. Oh, see, I knew you styled your hair. That is, that's quite an impressive swoop you got there. That ain't no natural swoop. I think even outsiders like us can find love. I don't think we need to worry. Oh, there's somebody out there for everyone. Oh, he making my heart go pitter patter. I love him. <gasps> All systems go! We are at 10 hearts! We are, we're at 10 hearts! Go! Go! Oh, everybody fall out! Troops, go! Go! <gasps> Ooh, there he is. On his motorcycle. Hey, I was just about to head out. Hop on, I want to show you something. Oh, I didn't pause time for this. Oh no, I'm going to pass out. Oh, crap. Whoops. Ooh, the night. Oh, look at that. Wow, this is so romantic. That's Zuzu City in the distance. That looks a bit like Seattle. I come here when I want to get away from everything and just think. We gotta light up a ciggy. So what do you think? I can say it's beautiful, gives me a strange, sad feeling, kind of ugly, or you should quit smoking. <laughs> Gives me a strange, sad feeling. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. That's what, that's what I would say. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I feel, too. The city used to draw me in, but now I'm finding myself happier at home in the valley. Gosh, I wonder why. Leah, I don't usually bring girls to this place. In fact, you're the only one. Suck it, Abigail! You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Uh, oh, we smooch! We go smooch. I really like Sebastian's Ten Heart cutscene. It's one of my favorites. Probably also because he's my favorite spouse, but you know. 